morning. And we're taking you back live to Canberra now where the Shadow Infrastructure Minister Anthony Albanese is holding a news conference. He's talking about the legacy of Gough Whitlam. To the passing of a great Australian, the great Labor man, Gough Whitlam. Since then, we've seen uh, the Labor family uh, express uh, our sorrow at the passing, but also celebrate his life and his contribution to the Labor Party, but also to the nation. And I believe across the political spectrum, including the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister, I think they gave uh, outstanding tributes to Gough Whitlam uh, yesterday in the Parliament and since. Uh, yesterday also, uh, the Greens political party uh, put up, uh, authorised by Lee Rhiannon on a website, an image of uh, Gough Whitlam, uh, Val Gough Whitlam next to the Greens party political logo. I think that that is cheap, opportunistic and offensive, given that Gough Whitlam was a Labor man his entire life. Gough Whitlam understood that you needed to seize power and be in government to make a difference to this nation. And he did just that between 1972 and 1975. He understood and said very explicitly on so many occasions that he didn't want to be just a party of protest. He wanted to be a party of government. And he sought that mandate from the Australian people, both prior to 1972, of course, but in 1974, 75, and of course in 1977 as the, the Labor leader. Right up until uh, he was uh, incapable of doing so due to ill health, he continued to campaign for Labor in every single political campaign. He continued to be active in local Labor Party life, into, including, as Tanya Plibersek outlined yesterday, attending uh, Labor Party Christmas parties in his local community. I'd say to Christine Mill and to the Greens, including Lee Rhiannon, who authorised this, the Senator from New South Wales, and Adam Ban, just do the right thing pull it down and admit that it was an error of judgment. That's the appropriate thing to do. That's the respectful thing to do. What do you find so offensive? The, the fact that they used the image or they used it with their, their party logo? Well, they clearly are trying to uh, appropriate Gough Whitlam's legacy uh, for the Greens. Gough Whitlam uh, not only was not a member of the Greens political party, he campaigned against them. Uh, he campaigned for me in my electorate. He campaigned for others uh, who faced uh, uh, conflict uh, with the Greens. And, uh, you know, we have a proud history. We're Australia's oldest political party. We've formed government. We have legacies. Uh, and Gough Whitlam's legacy is a Labor legacy. Uh, Tony Abbott and uh, Warren Truss yesterday paid respect to that legacy uh, whilst uh, not trying to own uh, the bits of the legacy that they agree with. And you can do that uh, to someone who you're a political opponent of. And uh, Gough Whitlam, in terms of his legacy, including on the environment, but on health, on education, there's been much said in the last uh, uh, 24 and a bit hours. Uh, all of it has been uh, quite outstanding, including uh, an appropriate analysis of where mistakes were made. This is not appropriate. They know it's not appropriate. Anyone who looks at it knows that it's not appropriate. Have you personally discussed whoa, 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 concerns? Whoa, 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 whoa. Have you, Hang on, one at a time, just here. Have you personally discussed your concerns with Christine Milne? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, you know, I've seen that um, Adam Bant has been out there defending uh, this this morning. You know, I've seen the, the coverage. I only saw it. Um, during the caucus meeting and uh, I raised it during the caucus meeting as soon as I saw it because I, I just, um, you know, it's one thing to, uh, as uh, happens in my local train station the other day, you sort of arrive there and there's a Greens core flute and it says, you know, uh, defend Medicare, 
um, you know, vote Greens. That's one thing to sort of try a sort of uh, opportunistic attempt to pretend that Medicare somehow is a Greens legacy as opposed to a Labor legacy, begun of course as Medibank under Gough Whitlam. It's another thing completely to use on the day of the great man's passing an image of him with the Greens political party logo on uh, the uh, on, on the uh, on the poster. Um, that is entirely inappropriate. We're trying to score here cheap opportunistic political points I because all the Greens are doing is saying here is a policy that we are proud a Labor Prime Minister introduced that we agree with. What is wrong with that? Well, if I need to explain it to you, Latika, then uh, I, uh, you know, people will make their own judgments. People will make people. No, 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 no. Well, you get to ask a question, I get to answer it. That's the system of press conferences. You've asked your, pre your question. I find it offensive that there is the great man's legacy with the Greens political party logo on it. I find that inappropriate. I think that is an attempt in an opportunistic way to appropriate Gough Whitlam's legacy as somehow for the Greens. Gough Whitlam is a great Labor man and uh, it, is, it is just not respectful. And I ask myself, I ask myself, and uh, I know the answer to this. What would a, a Labor legend like Gough Whitlam say if the Greens, if Christine Milne had said, how about we use an image of you and our logo on your image? What would he say? Would he you, say? you can't ask him. He would, of course, say no. His entire political life was dedicated to the cause of Labor. And, you know, it, the, the Greens don't have, it would be like uh, trying to uh, appropriate uh, that, that Bob Brown was somehow a Labor supporter. Bob Brown isn't. Uh, he's entitled to his views. Uh, he's made uh, his own contribution uh, to political life, uh, as has, you know, the John Howards to the Liberal Party. One of your MPs, Tony Caucus, described it as grave robbing. Would you go that far? Uh, I did not hear that description in the caucus. How, how angry is that what it is? I think people found it um, were, I think, pretty shocked. Um, you know, we've had this is a difficult time for uh, those of us who, who knew Gough, but I think everyone, if you're part of the Labor family, uh, the passing of, uh, of Gough Whitlam, um, even though he was 98 years of age and in ill health. It came as a shock to the nation, not just to people in the Labor caucus. And, you know, just do the right thing, concede that it's an error of judgment, and, and move on. Uh, this should not be a major debate, but it should be fixed. And it should be fixed in a way that is dignified and in a way that uh, restores um, some dignity to the political debate. Is this grave robbing? Look, I'm, I'm not going to, to use that term. Uh, this is, this shows no respect and it is opportunism of the worst kind in, in a way that I find offensive and people in the Labor caucus today found offensive. Thanks very much.